Remember two things I said, where is this inflammation being produced? Well, the first one I took you through is that GI lining. And I showed you how the immune system would be stimulated under that GI lining. That, that's the first place that a lot of this inflammation is being produced that's leading to our pain. Another area, I'm gonna kind of switch here, is I told you about the mitochondria. You asked, well, can you show us mitochondria? You can explain it to us. I'll use the analogy, okay, let's take a car. And it, it runs from its engine. You gotta have an engine in a car for it to run. So I want you to look at the mitochondria in our bodies like an engine is to a car. All, we gotta have our mitochondria to move, to do anything, to breathe, uh, to have energy. Our mito we gotta have our mitochondria and they must be functioning well. For mitochondria to function well to give us energy, just like an engine makes a car move, if you don't have an engine, or if you do have an engine and it's not working very well, or if you give a car anything other than gasoline or not top quality gasoline, it's not, that engine is not gonna run as well as it should. The car might run, but it might only go 20 miles an hour. But it has the ability to go 70, 80, 90, 100 miles an hour if that engine's really, really good. Well, just like with us, if our mitochondria, our engine are supported very, very well, if they're given the building blocks they need, will run very, very well. We'll have more energy. Our mitochondria are our engine. And this picture here depicts part of the mitochondria. And one of the things I want you to see here, right there, is CoQ10. That's one of the main building blocks your mitochondria need to produce energy. Very, very important. So mitochondrial deficiencies, what are the building blocks to make your mitochondria function at their best for you to have energy? CoQ10 is one of the main ones. L-carnitine, magnesium, D-ribose, and a lot of your B vitamins. You must have these building blocks for your mitochondria to function optimally. If you're deficient in any of these, we get chronic fatigue. That is going to be a result of our mitochondria not, not having the building blocks it needs to produce energy. 